News reporter Tim Harfman explains why this day of sentencing is being called a day of healing. Daniel Norwood appeared in a Bedford courtroom Friday dressed in a suit and tie after he was released on bond earlier this year. Norwood was convicted of shooting and killing his girlfriend, Jessica Moore, last July. Police say he was intoxicated while riding in the passenger seat of Moore's car and was attempting to unload a gun when it went off. Bedford Commonwealth's attorney Wes Nance tells 10 News the victim's family asked the court to show grace and the two families will meet as part of the healing process. The defense says this was a tragic accident. Norwood read a statement begging for forgiveness. I will never forgive myself for this accident, but I will honor her memory with all my heart just as I honored in the daughter when she was with us. I am truly sorry. I was supposed to protect her, and that was my intentions, and I failed. I love Jessica dearly. Life will never be the same without my beautiful girlfriend, and I'm so sorry. He was sentenced to 13 years in prison for involuntary manslaughter and reckless use of a firearm, but it was suspended after eight months, which Norwood already served. The ruling also includes eight years of good behavior, the first four under supervised probation. Norwood is not allowed to own or use a firearm and must comply with any drug testing and mental health treatment recommendations. In Bedford, Tim Harfman, 10 News, working for you.